Hello and welcome to Tutor Pipes Tutorials for Skype. In this tutorial, we're going to go over Skype itself. I'm going to teach you everything about it. I'm going to show you how to download and install Skype. And we are also going to set up an account with Skype so we can make free uh, PC to PC phone calls. Skype lets you make free calls to any other Skype user from your PC. Skype, a free person-to-person -person, uh, VOIP application, which is a voice internet protocol application, has more than 29 million registered users worldwide, with an average of 3 million using the service at any given time. Perhaps more significantly, Skype Out, the company's first premium service allowing users to make calls to regular telephone numbers, has surpassed 1 million subscribers since its introduction in July of 2004. Skype is a valid alternative to archaic landlines, per minute long distance charges, or the restrictive contracts and steep overage charges of mobile phones. But the idea of using a PC to make telephone calls is overwhelming for some. This tutorial shows you how to get the most out of Skype. Whether you're a new user or you are a seasoned pro, you'll get more from your service with these simple tips. To download uh, Skype, the first thing that we need to do is go to Skype's website. And you can access the website by opening up your favorite, uh, your favorite internet browser. And in the URL address, just type in www.skype.com. Okay? And if you just want to skip the, uh, the main page, you can just type uh, skype.com forward slash downloads. Okay? but we click on download Skype and it will take us to the same place as if we were to type in www.skype.com forward slash downloads okay yes we want to save to our hard drive to our PC and of course you want to make sure that you have the minimum system requirements uh, to run Skype now the minimum system requirements are you must have a 400 megahertz processor you have to have at least 128 megabytes of RAM 10 megabytes of free disk space on your hard drive sound card speakers and a microphone obviously and you have to have an internet connection okay now this internet connection can be dial-up or any of the broadband services commercially available. Now when you have dial-up though, you have to make sure that the minimum speed that you have is 33.6 kilobytes per second. Okay, and unfortunately uh, the majority of dial-up connections aren't out there are only 28.8 kilobytes per second, not 33.6. So double check with your internet service provider. They can tell you for sure or not uh, whether you can run this type of software or whether or not uh, you have that type of speed available to you. It doesn't matter where you download uh, the Skype execution or the Skype um, installation file to, but it does matter exactly where you install it. Okay, There's a difference between downloading it from the website and installing it. Right now we're just downloading it. Okay, now that it is fully downloaded we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now this is just a warning uh, telling me that this is an EXE file which some EXE files uh, have viruses and I trust this website so I'm going to go ahead and uh, ignore the warning. Okay, And this is the installation dialog box. Okay, First thing that you want to do is select your language. And there are many different languages that Skype comes in and these are mainly for the numbers, uh, for uh, instructions, and, uh, and anything else. Okay, you want to accept the end user license agreement and click install. Okay, depending on the resources available and the amount of space on your hard drive, it should only take a minute or so. Okay, now this is the very first uh, screen that you should see and it's basically just a confirmation that you've installed Skype okay it's the install dialog box 
So all we need to do is click and on uh, Start Skype on the lower right. Okay, and uh, just you know, a little note for you: you don't necessarily have to um, make a phone call from a PC to another PC. It can also be from a PC to a landline or to a phone line. Um, the only difference is, is that with a landline, you are going to have to pay a little bit extra um, to the Skype service to be able to have that type of uh, function. Okay. Now, once we start Skype, or once we activate Skype anyways, we have to create an account. So we're going to go ahead and put our full name in. And let's just call this TutorPipe. And that's what I want our Skype name to be. And I'm not going to tell you what the password is going to be. And of course, we have to accept the uh, license agreement. And of course, all the fields that have an asterisk are necessary. So they must be filled in. And we click on Next. Okay. And we have to give a valid email address. Okay. Now we don't want any uh, advertisements or special offers. And we are in the United States. And you can put the city if you want. And you can also have Skype uh, start immediately or sign in immediately as Skype starts. So we will go ahead and sign in. Okay, looks like it's already taken. So I will just go ahead and choose Tutor Pipe 1 and sign in. Okay. Here is our getting started little tutorial. We're just going to go ahead and close that. And this is the main window of the Skype interface. Okay. So congratulations, you have successfully downloaded, installed, and create an account with Skype and right now you are all set to go so by now you should uh, have intermediate knowledge on uh, what Skype is and what it's all about and you should be able to download and install Skype as well as create an account so thank you very much for watching TutorPipe's tutorials